not my usual intro, I know. Basically, I've set up my camera. This is gonna be the start of my panel preparation vlog for London. <laughs> It is Thursday the 22nd of September and uh, my panel event is next Thursday. God, it's only a week away. My panel event is next Thursday and it's going to be in London so I will be up in London for two days. I want to prove to myself that I can do something like this being autistic. I'm naturally very introverted and I deal with social kind of settings very differently. So I want to bring you guys along. And I kind of just want you to see the raw footage of what I'm like. This vlog serves as a awareness for autism. I hope you enjoy this video. Without further ado, I present to you preparing for my London panel event. I'm really excited for it. So I'm gonna head over and get some emails sorted and we can go for there. It's actually like really bright. The footage isn't the best sat here. But basically what I'm doing is I've got my laptop and I'm gonna go through some emails. I've just had another email through. These emails are coming in just like so frequently. I've also had another company collaboration come through so I need to email back them. September and my panel is in six days. I am very nervous. I'm gonna be writing my packing list for London because being autistic I need to know and I need to write lists. My way of functioning is by writing lists. Hello, it is Saturday the 24th of September. So yesterday I spent some time writing lists and what I've done is I've also prepared myself for my panel talk. So I've kind of done little bullet points on flashcards that I will have during the panel event just so that I can make sure that I'm not going to get distracted or anything. Packing list is sorted, um, but I am yet to pack because half the stuff that I do need to pack is stuff that I use every day. So I'm not going to be able to pack it until the night before anyway. I have ordered an extra two batteries for my camera and a dual battery charger for my camera. Because if you don't already know, I film on the Canon G7X mark ii and the battery that i've got is brilliant but obviously vlogging and taking the camera out and recording the battery definitely goes down quite a bit i also have just been making a new intro which will be in this video as well because i've made the intro for this specific video what i'm gonna do is as i as and when i film bits during the day that day i'm just gonna upload it and edit that because that way it limits the amount of long-term editing that I've got. But the thing is, is that I'm getting the train to London anyway, so that's four hours, two hours there, two hours back, that I can spend editing and uploading and stuff. So that's not really a huge issue for me, as I do have extra time to be getting on with stuff. I might try and get everything packed either tomorrow or Monday, as I do have my list, so if I get my clothes and my PJs and everything packed, I have three separate lists that I will show you in a minute. So I just went and uh, got my lists. So this is my packing list. So I have one for clothing for London. And basically what I do is I organise my clothing by the day. So I've got my Wednesday clothes, my Thursday clothes, and then my PJs. But I've also got PJs slash train clothes because I'm going to get into comfies as soon as we're on the train. Um, we get the train at 6.30 and we get home at about 8, 9 o'clock. So I still want to be in comfies. And then I have a toiletries um, packing list and then a technology and miscellaneous list because I need to make sure that I've got my camera equipment and my phone and my laptop and my iPad and my books and my sunflower lanyard <laughs> and then the other lists I've got is these are my panel prep lists. I have a case study that I need to do which I'm probably going to work on tomorrow if I can. Yeah so I'll definitely be vlogging more over the next few days as obviously it gets closer to the event but this is what I've got for now. Have you seen the sunset? Look at that, how pretty is that? So, anyway, um, it's safe to say that I've cleaned the entire flat, <laughs> like everything, I've done the kitchen and now I need to clean my room, but I have just picked up and started reading A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett Sinclair and I just want to quickly say, I'm like 
three pages in and I love it but I have impulsively stopped reading it because I really need to clean my room definitely a favorite so far I can't wait to get into it because I've heard so many good things about this and it's a four book series which means I've got three books after this and I may just have to pop into Waterstones when my car is fixed to get the second one I could order it but I don't really like paying for things off of Amazon if I unless I really have to so um oh so cool it's so pretty like i just the cover is gorgeous <laughs> my bed so now I am going to sit down and read for a little while and I kind of use reading as my downtime but it's now become a part of my routine so I read uh, about 200 pages every evening and uh, I think that's I need to sit down because I'm starting to get really dizzy and I know when I get really dizzy it's a sign that I'm about to pass out because of my heart <sighs> um okay I'm gonna sit down quickly I'm sat down so yeah basically uh i aim to read roughly 200 pages a night um this is 284 pages so i'll probably end up just halving it uh but i'm really excited to start reading this so you're gonna come along with me while i'm reading this i will most likely see you tomorrow morning <laughs> bye <laughs> Good morning! Today is Sunday the 25th of September and I am gonna pack my clothes and get my bag as packed as I can get it um, for London. Um, my cousins are currently staying and they've got their dogs here so um, I'm going to show you Wizard because he's upstairs at the moment. You're a good boy! You're such a good boy! Okay, so this is Wiz. Um, he's a Dalmatian. He's very cute, aren't you? Very cute. Yeah. <laughs> there's not a thought behind those eyes. And then there's little Willow, but she's uh, currently resting. <laughs> I just come back in my room, really dizzy again because I stood up too much. Uh, but, so... <sighs> oh god, I don't know how to do this. Uh, oh! <clears throat> So yes, I also made a protection spell jar for my car that I very much need to hang up. Um, it's, it's super cute, it's got those little herbs and stuff. I need to hang that up in my car. The outfits that I'm going for is on the Wednesday, um, I am going for leggings with a black t-shirt and then I'm kind of going to wear my red and black checkered scarf as more of a shawl but I'm going to tuck it in with a belt. And then I'm going to wear my, well, not my, my mum's combat boots. And then on a Thursday, I'm going to do my khaki coloured dress with my combat boots and probably like a leather jacket or something. Because that's the panel day. So, yeah, either, either outfit would be fine for the panel, but I feel like my, I feel like I want to wear my dress. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pack that. You're going to come along with me while I pack that. <laughs> of September. Having a bad morning today. I my heart won't slow down. Yes, I am still in my PJs and yes, it is 11 o'clock in the morning. 
I am just going to be going through more emails. I have a kind of video presentation to do, you know, like a PowerPoint slide, but I feel like making a video will be easier in the long run, but it involves me having to get ready and it, that is something that I really don't want to have to do. So we'll see. Well, it depends. We'll see. That's the plans for today. One thing that I really struggle with as an autistic person is brand deals. So I've just had another collaboration come through. Oh, so bright. So I've just had another collaboration come through and you know when something just kind of seems too good to be true? That's kind of how I feel about that one but I'm going to check it out anyway and see. It hasn't come through in junk so that's a good thing and I've, I've vetted the um... I have vetted the email address so we'll see, we'll have a look. You know the autistic urge to just rip all of my skin off when there's like a loud noise that my body doesn't like? My granddad's been mowing the lawn at least twice a week and I'm not entirely sure why he's been mowing the lawn that much but so if you can hear the lawn mower then that is why. I'm so sorry I'm just gonna have to put up with the appalling angle. So the one thing that I've been stressing about the most is that I need to come up with kind of like a case study of kind of just an example of why working through influencers in retailing makes is such a big impact on the company and i've decided to choose lucy and yak target all audiences but i've seen a specific target within di diverse audiences so i kind of want to focus on that considering the whole reason i'm at this panel is because i advocate for diverse communities i'm gonna email them now and uh i've got two emails and i don't know which one i'll just email that and i'm sure if it's not the right one then they'll be able to just like forward it on so um that is going to be currently what i'm going to do i am going to somehow attempt to write out this email but i'm really bad with communication so we'll see how it goes we'll see how this goes <laughs> I have just finished writing up the email to Lucy and Yak and I have sent it off. I tell you what, like I so I prefer email so much more being autistic, I really struggle with phone calls. But emails are still stressful to write out even if they do give me time to sort of like ponder over what I'm about like gonna say and what I'm gonna write down. Um it's still stressful. <laughs> uh emails have been sent, but I'm cooking soup at the moment. Uh -huh for lunch and I'm also doing it with garlic bread. I know that sounds weird but garlic bread is like definitely a safe food of mine. Good afternoon, uh, it's 2 p.m. and it is the 27th of September. Last night I ended up having a meltdown, super fun. And this morning I had to take my grandma to the doctors and I've just been milling about kind of doing my own thing. But I made gnocchi for lunch and it was super good and I actually like fried it instead of boiled it so it's like even better. And Potatoes and pasta are my safe foods, so when you make potato into a form of pasta, it's my favourite. Uh, so, I've currently got all of my stuff out, and I know that I said that I was packing before, but now is the time when I'm actually going to be packing all of my stuff. There. <laughs> there is something really wrong with my hand, um, so my thumb dislocates really easily, like I can just, there you go, put it out, like it's so easy to just pop out um but I've, I've done something to it so now every time i like move my hand i get really bad pain all the way up it it's with eds problems <laughs> i'm still in my, I'm in my pjs i got in the shower this morning and then got changed straight back into a fresh set of pjs if that's not my life i don't know what is finish off reading a touch of darkness because i'm gonna try and finish that and then find a water stones when i'm in london tomorrow um, because I need to get the second one because I've managed to get the third one but they didn't have the second one and I can't read the third one without reading the second one 
so that's the plan. I've emailed back everybody, I've had a couple of people at the actual convention that I'm speaking at book interviews with me throughout the day so I will also be doing uh, speaker interviews as well so that's really exciting yeah it should be a really good time probably not going to talk much after this point you're just going to be seeing me milling about getting everything sorted currently working my way through phase three and I'm on Thor Ragnarok so I'm getting my way through phase three which is uh do doing good doing good <laughs> Reel me in to get it going, open me up Sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated I fucking hate it Every time I get too close, you push me away Don't wanna stick, telling me you don't want any obligations And how you hate them Don't call me just cause you're lonely Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Making me Give me something Straight from your heart All this insecurity Is tearing me apart You're making me Sleepless You're making me sleepless You're on my phone at the moment Um <laughs> I love what I'm wearing right now Basically I've gone for the as I was saying before I got really interrupted, I've gone for the bare minimum of my dad's hoodie and these balloon fit jeans. I'm one panic attack down and I have a really bad headache, but my panic attack started halfway through taking my painkillers, so I've only taken two paracetamol, so I might just try and choke down the two ibuprofen now. I just feel really sick, which sucks, but I'm going to get my shoes on and then you're coming to me. You're not coming to me, you're coming with me. And we are going to Waterstones to pick up the second book. And I got really excited because I, was, I found out, I was like, oh my God, it's a four book series. Um, yes, I am slightly freaking out right now. Uh, this is what happens when I freak out. Oh, do not tell me my hips just, yep, it's just gone. Oh, there we go, right, that's back in. Anyway, um, it's always when I sit down to put socks and shoes on that it does that. Am I going to have to crop my feet out? Oh, don't tell me there's a hair in my sock. That makes me so uncomfortable. Oh, there was a hair in my sock. Anyway, um, yeah, you're coming to me. Um, you're, you're not coming to me. You're coming with me. And we are going to Waterstones. <sighs> okay, I think that's fine. Um... So basically, yeah, I got really excited. Uh, this is like the most ADHD autistic that people kind of really see me. I just feel a bit nice right now, you know? Um, so yeah, I found out that like, I'm currently reading A Touch of Darkness, which is the Hades and Persephone retelling by Scarlett Sinclair. Um, so I'm reading that at the moment. And um, I got really excited because I was like, oh my God, it's a four book series, no way. I'll just get the extra three books and I can read it in one go, right? wrong because the book doesn't come out until the t October I think I'm not even actually entirely sure uh what am I doing uh so yeah uh I actually have to wait for that one and it's really annoying because the series that I was reading before I was like hey it's a five book series it's not I was wrong about that as well it's actually a six book series and I found out that the author um was releasing her one in October as well I'm also going feral for the release of the new Crescent City book, especially with the end of House of Sky and Breath. I am feral over it. Anyway, you're coming with me. Uh, I've got a really bad headache. Well, it's not really bad. It's like that storm headache. You know, the typical meltdown kind of burnout headache. So I don't really know. It sucks. Maybe I just need fresh air. I've been cooped up inside all day. So that's probably why, let's be honest.
Right, let's go. Um, I spoke too soon. I haven't actually left yet. Uh, my panic attacks either go one of two ways. Um, I either get really, really fatigued, like, to the point where I can't do anything but just sit. Um, like, to the point it's really weird. Like, I get so tired that I can't even sleep because I'm too tired to even try and sleep. It's really strange. Or I go hyper, like I am now. And I'm pretty sure the hyper part is just me... Um, it's like a cope, well it's not really even a coping mechanism, I think it is because of the insane burst of adrenaline that I get from having a panic attack because my body apparently thinks that something's trying to kill me right now, so yeah, uh, I just have all of the really annoying side effects that come with that, I need lip balm. I had the starter motor replaced and my car keeps surging which is fun, um, I was gonna film but um, my tripod for my car is um, not sticking. So I'm definitely not gonna risk my life by doing that. I'm going to jam out to tunes and uh, yeah, go from there. Literally got here and it's just started raining, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever had like a proper jam out on the car as I did just then. Yeah. I keep in this game. I don't wanna be a 4 a.m. I'm suffocating just by waiting on you. So don't call me just cause you're lonely. You know you're killing me slowly. Okay, I finally put my spell jar up in my car as well. It's a little wet. It's a little wet outside. You could probably see the raindrops. But I get it. So I finally got the second one. It's also quite thick, like it's a bit thicker than the um, first one as well. I'm not too sure what the page count is on this one. Uh, but yeah, I finally got it done. So I am very happy. Uh, the guy in there was really nice. We had like a super cool conversation. Um, he was reading this uh, 12 book series and the author died at, at, after he published the 11th book. And um, so the 12th book never, like, it had to be a new author that wrote it on behalf of them. But, uh, like, damn. <laughs> like, imagine reading 11 books and then on the last and final one, the author dies. Cruel. Come on. I should get my LEDs in. There we go. Oh, no, it's flashing. Oh, there we go. Um, I have LED lights in the footwell of my car and the flashing ones make my eyes go so really funny so I have to have them on red to match my car but I'm also getting gel badge overlays and a few other little bits and pieces as well because I want to kind of make my car a bit fun you know, you know how it is this is the issue with having an orange light everything is orange um, but I'm back home now and this kind of puts an end to this vlog really uh i will be vlogging tomorrow if you see my dog right now she's after the plate wiki 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 <laughs> that tell? uh so yes this is the end this is the end of this vlog and i hope you've enjoyed this video make sure that you stay tuned for the vlog that i am going to be filming when i'm out in london as that will be updated, so I'm watching my dog, I've got food on my bed right now, as that will be updated uh, when I get back. Thank you for watching this vlog, I hope you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Maybe I'm not, I think about it way too much and every single thought is making me